things. Because not you thinking you're going to put me as a placeholder just in case some stuff don't work out. Not in this lifetime, baby. I didn't get a single Merry Christmas from anybody because even the stories that people have heard about this man, I blocked that man right after that. Because you will never get the opportunity to spend the block on me once you once you play in my face. My ex-husband, blocked. The guy I went on a date with, blocked. Oh my God, I love that video so much. That's a must watch. Especially if you date men. I love her too. Go follow if you're not already. That's one of my mutuals. Okay, so, you know, we talk about like no contact. We always talk about no contact, like, oh, your boomer parents or, you know, the narcissist or whatever. She's talking about next level self-respect. The kind of self-respect that will make sure that you do not get in relationships with men who hate you or just kind of like you and tolerate you so that you can keep, keep doing stuff for them. They can just take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, and then cheat on you anyway. I've talked about this before about how there's, the, the, screw closure. You're never going to get it. You're never going to get closure. Even if you get like the moment, it's never, it's never going to be closure. Okay. But uh, this idea that you could get it is what makes so many women not block these dudes who treated them terribly. Not only that, I really struggle with blocking men because I thought, and this is one thing that we have to stop believing the lies we tell ourselves because we put ourselves in a position to be harmed when we do this. This lie that I used to tell myself that I'm strong enough to not respond to that text if I ever get a text from that guy that I really wish would text me, that I obsess over, that it has ignited all of my trauma responses and all my attachment stuff and all my childhood crap and all my daddy issues or whatever it is, that somehow getting that text will put me at peace and then I, I definitely won't respond to that text. I just want to get it. I want, I, want, I want to be able to not respond because I want to get that text. I want to know that I got that text, that he wanted me, but I won't respond. And I'm telling you, if you think that you're not going to respond, you're kidding yourself. Maybe, maybe you won't. But if you have had a lot of troubles with trouble with relationships, if you have pretty bad codependency, if you have really low self-esteem at the moment, if you're in the middle of a transition, right? New job, new place. Maybe you just moved to a new country, a new town, and you're feeling lonely. I promise you, you're gonna, you are, whenever you are in a vulnerable moment, a low moment, a, a lonely moment, you will respond to that text. You may not respond when you get it, but you're gonna respond eventually. You are still playing the game and it is self-harm. It's like cutting to not block these dudes because first of all, they know who's going to respond and who's not. That's why they keep contacting you when they don't want anything. These men are bored. Most men are bored out of their mind. Even when they're married, even when they have children, they are so insecure with themselves, in themselves, won't deal with their crap. So they look for a hit on anything, you know? It could be um, alcohol, drums, climbing, marathon running, whatever. Games. Or one of their most popular pastimes, trying to be a player, manipulating women, winning that game. I don't think, I don't think we understand how much this is just a game, okay? And that men love getting, up. they love, they need our attention. And even if they have a wife and kids and blah, 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 they're still, I can't tell you when I was on the dating apps, I was like, oh my God, so many of these dudes are married. I would have never known if I didn't have, you know, CIA level detective skills. They will reach out because they're bored. They'll reach out because they need validation and you will respond for the same reason. You're bored, need validation or feeling lonely or whatever. But the thing is, is that because of all the power structures and all that stuff, Women get screwed more. A lot of them, they're, just, they're texting every, every woman in their roster or whatever and, to see who will respond. Don't be one of those women that they know they're going to get a response from. And a lot of them will wait till your birthday or a holiday or New Year's or something. This dude that you spent weeks, months, maybe even years trying to get out of your head, one text, boom. All that healing undone. Don't let them do that. It is a form of self-respect, self-protection to cut off access. Now, I know that they're just 
try to reach out through some other app, you know, that whatever, block in every way possible. I'm not saying that they may not try some other way, but if you leave that door open, you are signaling to yourself that you really want to hear from them. And you're also putting a whole lot of trust in your nervous system, all of your former trauma with any men you've dated before or dad or whoever, any men who have screwed you over, who've created a sense of insecurity with men, you really gonna rely on that? A big part of decentering men is cutting off access. Stop giving them your time, your attention, your response, anything, a reaction. So many of the stuff that men do, they just want a reaction. I promise you, if they are texting you out of nowhere and you're like, what does this mean? What does it mean? Stop asking your girlfriends who are, have just as bad dating life as you or the kinds who like make a lot of excuses for men and give men the benefit of the doubt. These men do not deserve the benefit of the doubt. Okay, stop giving it to them so easily. They're not giving you the benefit of the doubt, I promise. But so many women will be like, well, maybe he's come around. You know, like all these stupid rom-coms, you know, where we, he'll come around. He'll learn his lesson. I do not want to be a man's lesson, his rehab, his, you know, growth mechanism. I don't want to be any of that. I want to be his partner. And it doesn't mean that couples don't learn. A, of course, you learn from each other. You grow from each other. But most of these relationships with men, these cishet relationships with men, the men are doing none of the growing at our expense. Or if they do growing, the, the, all that is going to benefit the next relationship, not you, because they're not going to respect you. That Men do not respect the woman who goes through the trenches with them. They hate that woman because that woman reminds them of who they used to be and they know they deserve someone better who wouldn't put up with that crap. So there's literally no reason to not text these, uh, block these dudes. There's no reason to text them back. And also, like she said in her video, of course you're gonna do it sometimes. You gotta forgive yourself and you got to go back to blocking them. You know, if you had a moment of weakness, Talk to someone about it, you know? Don't keep it a secret to yourself and live in your shame. Tell someone about it. You know, have someone hold you accountable. If you don't have a mentor, a friend, somebody who's gonna give you this hard truth to remind you if you truly wanna change. If you don't wanna change, keep doing this stuff. But if you really wanna stop this, find somebody who you can call when you wanna send that text and be like, remind me why I don't wanna send. They're gonna be like, he hates you. And you're like, okay, 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 right? And also, if you have chronic codependency, like serious, with a lot of trauma, even that won't work. Even that won't work. You need more help, right? We cannot do this stuff on our own. If there is one thing that I have learned the most in the last several years, many years, is that I'll, the healing happens in community. But it does not happen in relationships with men like this. These men take you backwards. And all the work you've done on yourself to get to that point, they can undo it like that like a thread, the whole thing falls apart. And the longer you're with them and the more maybe coercive or abusive or narcissistic this person was, the more addicted you're gonna be to him. And you're gonna live and breathe and wait for that text, okay? And you're not gonna have the power to not respond to it. You have to cut them off, but it's not just abusers. Not, it is any men who show you, as soon as they show you that they're playing, that they don't respect you, that they're, that they're not consistent, that they're not gonna do the things that you want and that you need, and they know exactly what that, stop, cut them off. The longer you, st and this was one of the hardest lessons I ever learned. The longer I stay with a man that doesn't respect me, the more I disres, I, I, the less I respect myself. The more I hate myself, I will never, let a man be the reason why I hate myself ever again. I already out of the gate hated myself because of like my upbringing and stuff. I worked so, 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 so hard to love myself. I will not let a man undo all of that ever again. So if you are still not in a good place, stop dating. Date yourself. Pour into friendships. Learn how to have healthy relationships through community and friendships first and then take baby steps. But stop. Stop thinking that it's gonna change or you're gonna change him or he'll come around. He's not coming around. And if he does, it's only to exploit you, use you, and make you hate yourself.